So Elon Musk has just revealed something big for Dogecoin, and this is going to change everything for Dogecoin holders. So we are now seeing that Elon Musk has hinted that after Tesla, his firms SpaceX and Starlink could start accepting Dogecoin payments. And it all happened when famous author Jonna Kreider asked Musk on Twitter if the SpaceX merchandise store and Starlink will accept Dogecoin. And we can see here that Elon Musk responded with the winking face emoji to this request from Jonna Kreider. So the point is that Musk is now hinting towards Dogecoin's acceptance from SpaceX and Starlink. And I think it is now highly possible that Musk's SpaceX and Starlink could enable Dogecoin payments. This is because we know that SpaceX has already accepted Doge for a moon mission called Doge One that is set to be launched in 2022. Similarly, Tesla also started allowing buying some of its merchandise with Dogecoin in January. So if we connect the dots, there is now a strong likelihood that Elon Musk is going to accept Doge payments for his firms SpaceX and Starlink. And I think this is going to happen this year. And once this happens, it is going to act as a massive catalyst for the price of Doge. And this could help it come out of this ongoing sideways movement. And now, let's come to Dogecoin's current price for a minute. So we are now seeing that Dogecoin has undergone loss once again. And after the bullish price function last weekend, the bearish pressure has returned for Doge. And one of the reasons for this is that the overall crypto market is under bearish pressure as most coins are reporting losses. But the reason why I'm still positive for Doge is that its RSI is still in the neutral zone, indicating that there is no major sell-off for it. So I think that things are going to get better for Doge, especially considering Elon Musk's latest tweet. But this is not it. There is another very important and very bullish indicator for Doge. So what is making me excited for Doge is that whales have started to get bullish on Doge after sitting on the sidelines for some time. And whales have now started to accumulate more and more Dogecoin in anticipation of a major leg up from Doge over the long term. And this is why Dogecoin is now back on the top 10 purchase tokens by 1,000 biggest BSC wallets in the last 24 HRS. So this is just more and more confirmation that despite being sitting on the downside, Doge still has the potential to move to the upside. In any case, I'd like to remind you here that this is no financial advice since I'm not a professional financial advisor. So it is recommended that you do your own research before investing in cryptos. And with that being said, let's come to Bitcoin for a minute. So Bitcoin has indicated mild price volatility during the last 24 hours. And the reason why Bitcoin has been struggling to move up is that it has been facing strong resistance from the 44K price level and it appears that Bitcoin is now at a critical decision point. And the taker by sell ratio is showing us that the recent rebound from 33K to 43K has created some positive momentum in the market. As of now, the metric has reached the green zone, so there is a high possibility for this rally to go further in the midterm. However, Bitcoin might see some corrections on its way up. This is because technical analysis is signaling a correction in the short term as Bitcoin has created a bearish cross between the 100 and 200 day moving averages. Meanwhile, the MACD of Bitcoin is now gaining pace in the bearish zone, and the RSI for Bitcoin is now below the 50 level. So this means that there is going to be some bearish momentum in the short term. And while Bitcoin is currently sitting in a make or break situation, Peter Schiff has once again predicted a massive crash for Bitcoin. According to Schiff, Bitcoin has formed a strong bearish pattern called double top. And he believes that the drop of Bitcoin below 30K will almost immediately launch it to 10K. And he has indicated that there is nothing on the long term chart that protects Bitcoin from falling to the 10K support zone. Schiff also believes that in such a scenario, Bitcoin may even reach the absolute low and lose all of its value gained during the year. However, according to the weekly Bitcoin chart, the double top pattern is not as accurate as it should be. In addition to low accuracy, the formation itself does not seem to look finished as Bitcoin has successfully bounced from 35k and reached 45k recently. So the point is that the double top pattern on the weekly Bitcoin chart could already be considered flawed and it appears that Bitcoin is not going to see a massive crash. And this crash is not going to happen because there are still some bullish indicators for Bitcoin. For example, the Bitcoin on chain data is currently showing that sentiment is highly bullish in the current market. The Sopper metric, which indicates the behavior of market participants, has just flashed a highly bullish signal.
and the metric is nearing levels seen in 2021 that marked a bear market reversal. And as per crypto analysts' swell cycle, the Sopper metric has recently returned above a value of 1 as it did back in 2021 between May and July. And this indicates that the bottom of the market is in and coincides with trend reversal sentiments in the Bitcoin market. And popular crypto analyst Nicholas Merton believes that Bitcoin is flashing signs of an upcoming rally and that Bitcoin bulls are set to overtake bears. And he has highlighted that Bitcoin is not in a bear market and that we shouldn't be fooled by its recent stagnant price action. In fact, Merton has predicted Bitcoin will reach an overall market cap of $4 trillion by late this year, putting its value at about 200 k and now, if we talk about Bitcoin's short-term outlook, it may be able to overcome the 4 to 6K mark and gain a foothold above it. This is because we have seen many times before that the increase in inflation results in an increase in crypto market prices. And it is expected that high inflationary risks, together with the Fed's plans to end the asset buyback program soon, may encourage investors to keep holdings and prevent them from dropping in price. And this can fuel Bitcoin's price to the upside in the coming two weeks. And now, if we come to Ethereum, we are now seeing that it has settled below the 3K support zone in the last 24 hours. And it appears that its price could continue to move down if it stays below the 3K pivot level. Moreover, there is also a key declining channel forming with resistance near 2.9K, so it means that ETH can go down even further. However, if Ethereum manages to create a successful close above 3K, it might start another increase. And we are now seeing that these recent significant dips in Ethereum are driven by sustained increasing inflation and a dismal December employment report. And the biggest concern has been persistent hints by the Federal Reserve that it may begin slowing down steps to prop up the economy as it improves. However, analysts are still predicting that Ethereum's long-term outlook is very bullish. And as per Morgan Stanley strategist Denny Galindo, Ethereum could ultimately have a larger market than Bitcoin. This is because he believes that Ethereum is distinguishable enough from other crypto assets that it can be considered as a separate investment from Bitcoin. Moreover, Ethereum is now associated with more economic activities than just payments or a store of value, including NFTs and decentralized applications. And it appears that Ethereum's various use cases could ultimately make its market larger than Bitcoin's. And another positive thing for Ethereum is that crypto analyst Benjamin Cowan believes that Ethereum is actually a better store of value than gold. This is because gold has remained virtually flat over the last decade, and Ethereum's value has gone up nearly 50 times in the last 12 months. So this is just another use case for Ethereum along with those we just discussed, and this means that Ethereum's adoption is going to rise along with its price over the years. And while we have discussed some bullish things for Bitcoin and Ethereum, there is some bad news as well. For example, Bank of America has recently stated that Bitcoin is not digital gold and it is not anti-inflationary. The bank believes that Bitcoin is a risk asset. This is because it moves far more similarly to risk assets such as equities. So there is no doubt that Bitcoin is now having a high correlation with stocks. However, we have seen it going above while stocks are going down. So we can say that Bitcoin is not a risk asset like stocks. And now, let's see some of the best performing altcoins. So some crypto whales are now getting bullish on gaming cryptos Mana and Axie. And we are now seeing that they are stocking up on these cryptos. So I think both Mana and Axie are going to show some momentum thanks to the rising interest of whales. And now coming back to Dogecoin, we can see here that more than 50% of Doge holders are currently in profit. And we can also see that its price correlation with Bitcoin is pretty high and it's pretty positive for Doge. So I wanted to show you these technical indicators that are currently very bullish for Doge. And this is exactly why I think that Doge is going to get some positive momentum in the long term. In any case, what are your thoughts on this? Do you think Dogecoin is going to rebound from here? Let me know in the comment section below.